Welcome back guys. It is reorganization time. Let's go ahead and get started. In today's video, we are going to just be hitting the reset button on my craft room slash studio and life. So to begin, let me just say that I am a busy mama. Um, I am the mom to a beautiful little girl who happens to have special needs. She has something called Pallister Killian Syndrome or PKS. She is a rare little, little gem. She is one of less than 500 people in the world. And she's my little miracle. But that does mean that life is a little more busy than typical with our different appointments and therapies throughout the week. And on top of that, I am a business owner times two, which includes my crafting with Candace. And on top of that, I have two additional jobs. So to say that I stay busy is an understatement on top of daily tasks of just, you know, eating and keeping up with life and socializing and anything else that I want to try to fit in. Time just gets away from me. That happens to me a lot, and right now I've just reached a point at life that I just need to hit the reset button, take some time to focus on getting back to the basics so that I can continue forward. That means starting in on cleaning up my craft room and studio because it is absolutely out of control and very stressy and messy, and I just cannot handle that any longer. So I'm going to start out with, if you are one of those people that can just keep it all together and everything is spick and span and clean, bless you. You are one of, just one of those people I look up to and admire, but I am just not that person. This video will probably make you cringe. Now, if you're gonna try to shame me or come at me in my comments, absolutely you are not welcome here. Um, I don't tolerate that behavior. Don't come at me or my subscribers. This is a safe space and I have no shame, so good luck. <laughs> I just wanna be real and raw with you guys and show you what it looks like behind the camera. I am a person just like you guys and sometimes I just don't have enough time in the day. So, Let's just start out with what my room looks like. It is just, there are just paths. It is just crammed packed. I have boxes from the machines I've purchased over the past few months, which I kept because I wanted to make sure that there weren't going to be any issues and I didn't have to send anything back. And I think it's time to let go of those now. And then I also have inventory that's done that maybe is seasonal that's just kind of chilling. And... Sorry about my finger, guys. I'm not at my house, so I don't have my uh, my whole setup here. So I'm just holding her up like, like a good old vlog or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, so I just have like stuff laying around and then clutter. You know, I did my first booth uh, several months back and I have stuff from where I'm packing in and out and resetting that up every week. And it's just, it's just chaos. So what happens for me personally is I'm going all the time, right? I will do projects in between the chunks of time that I have and then as soon as that project's done I'm jumping off into the next thing that I have to take care of. That means I'm just pushing aside the stuff instead of cleaning up and resetting right then and there. I'm just putting it off with the intentions of cleaning up before my next project. Then that doesn't happen and we get into the next project and it's the same thing and that stuff gets pushed aside and it's just revolving until it's just I, I get so stressed out like the room being like this, it stresses me out, it overwhelms me. I feel like then it's too big of a task for me to tackle right now because I don't have time. And it's just, it's just a reoccurring problem that I have and I just, I don't know. I just have issues with it. So what I have found that works for me is that I have to set an alarm sometimes. Maybe it's just 15 minutes. For this one, it was three hours. I was able to just know that I had to do this, set a three hour alarm, put it um, down and as put my phone down and put on some music and just go for three hours or say for you, it's 15 minutes. In that 15 minutes, how much can you clean and how much can you get done? Go for it. Focus on one area or one space. For me, I started with my desk and I just focused all my energy on that and getting that completed. 
Because what happens to me is I'll start on one area, I'll go to put something away that was in that area and to where it goes, I'll get to that area and I'm like, oh, well then I should probably do this too. And it's just reoccurring and then that 15 minutes or hour goes by and I've accomplished nothing. I have 15 areas that are unfinished, partially done, but unfinished. I can't check anything off. I don't feel accomplished. It's very just disheartening. And so just focus on that one thing. And that's what works best for me. So I'm going to start with my desk, get that area done, then move to the next. And I just did this all the way around my room until I was ready to say, okay, this is enough for now. Um, sweep up and mop up. And let me tell you, I feel so relieved to have that done. I do have a lot of areas still where, you know, I need to reorganize a drawer or, um, I don't know, a drawer or a bucket or something to where I can get it all back to, you know, being nice and neat. But for now, this was good enough it, to get me started on that. Now, I will say if you see anything in my room as how I store anything or um, a project that I have or an item that I have that you have questions about, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to try to answer those for you. Um, like for instance, my ribbon holders and things. Excuse me, those are just plastic gutters. My boyfriend had a strip of, like a 10 foot strip of guttering that he didn't end up using for um, re-guttering the garage and he just had it in storage. And so I was like, hey, can we use that? And we pulled it down, we made little shelves out of it. So I have that on my closet door holding all of my ribbon. And I also have it on my wall holding a lot of my paints um, and stuff right there by my desk, the ones that I use all the time. So it's easy access and I can grab them. So anything like that, um, I do have a video for that. It's just a quick short, but just kind of showing you how I did it. Um, and yeah, so if you have questions about anything else, let me know. I really just hope to share this with you in order to inspire you if you have an area in your house that has just been daunting and it just seems so overwhelming. Again, what's worked for me is just set an alarm, even if it's just five minutes, set an alarm for five minutes and do everything that you can in that five minutes. And most of the time it's just getting started. Once you get started and on the roll, it's a lot easier. Um, it's, I don't know, sometimes simple tasks seem very overwhelming to me and I just need to get started on them. And then sometimes they take me like two minutes and I'm like, why did I put so much pressure on this one thing when it didn't even take me that long? But I don't know if that happens to everybody else. I don't know if maybe I'm just genuinely undiagnosed ADHD and I don't mean that in the sense of everybody who says, oh gosh, I'm just ADHD. No, I mean like I check all the boxes, so probably, but... Yeah, again, I am hoping to just kind of reset, reorganize, get myself back on track. And the next video that you see from me, it may not be the typical project video either, but I just need you guys to understand and bear with me and have some patience because I'm doing what I need to do for me right now. And that, again, is just to hit the reset button and get myself reorganized. That way I can provide you guys with the best content that I have. So give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful for you anyway. If you are like me and just messy and stressy, um, if you relate with it at all. Um, and if you need a place to chat, hit up my comments. Happy to talk with you. You can join my Facebook group where you can share all of your projects and interact with me and other like-minded people. And yeah. Subscribe if you're new here, if you're returning. Thank you guys so much. I love you very much. And I will see you in the next one.